Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We are looking at the week of October the 25th to the 31st, 2021. Now, we are in the star sign of Scorpio. <clears throat> but before we go into the individual star signs, starting with Scorpio, obviously, <laughs> we're looking at the overall energy for the week ahead. So let's do just that. Cards fell out. So I think we got what we need just here. <clears throat> Quite interesting, <coughs> energetically speaking, because for the last week of October 2021, we have the totem and the teepee. Now, both denote home and family. So energetically speaking, it is really, really important to make peace with whatever isn't quite right with flesh and blood family, whatever is not solved, whatever is not put right, if that makes sense. Really, really important. Now, and if you feel it can't be put right, or maybe, you know, things that I should have spoken about or should have, or things that should have been spoken about before a certain person, for instance, passed, all these kind of things haven't been resolved, then resolve it yourself by letting it go. Because your incoming energy, the totem, is really about looking at the family you were born into and how it energetically affects your life and to simply not let it affect your life negatively. Quite simple. So, um, and then the outgoing energy is the TP, which is your home, your house, your kingdom, your castle, the place that you feel home, because that should be your safe haven. So, two things, basically. First, reflect on where are you with regards to how you're feeling. I'm doing this as if I'm holding the totem here. <laughs> right? um, so how do you how are you feeling towards um family members maybe it is time for you to to say something maybe you you live with family members at the moment but you know it's it's um it's going to be a situation that will change eventually and maybe you feel because i am living with them i should keep my mouth shut well if there is something that needs to be said this is up to you to decide whether or not it should be said just as comes to mind the point i'm making here is and these are just the imagery that the guides gave me, <clears throat> is anything that has to do with flesh and blood memory that somehow lowers your energy needs to change. And it can only change when you either let it go, which is easier said than done, or you um, put things to right. Okay, so that's one of the things that is important for the last week of October and then the the other thing obviously is 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 family and so we had home and living in your own space so we're going to look at this very likely uh, throughout the readings it makes oftentimes that's just the way this works you know oftentimes we have um, the overall energy <clears throat> and then we have overlapping energies anyway right so that was the overall energy for the very last week of uh, October 2021. So, and now we're going to the very first star sign, which is a very fresh star sign because Scorpio only started on the 23rd of October and this week only starts on the 25th. So, let's have a look. Which means that the energy of the star sign Scorpio is also quite powerful for the energy of the rest of the week. And what is important about the Scorpio is that in the depiction, obviously it's, it's named by, after a Greek story, <clears throat> the, the Scorpio bit, I think it was Hercules that, that was bit, <clears throat> and anyway the Scorpio didn't survive, right? <clears throat> so it's a bit of a low energy story unfortunately, but the depiction of the star sign Scorpio is the Scorpion. And I say that every time the Scorpion comes up, 
Um, the important thing about that depiction, just that representation of your constellation, your star sign, by the scorpion, is for you to realize that scorpions automatically demand respect. So we do not have to chase people um, to, to, to give you respect, even though there is this saying that respect has to be earned, but you demand respect simply because you're a good person. So it basically means, um, because there's a truth to the fact that, that, that um, you know, um, you can't just give people, um, you know, um, a lot of positive uh, attributes if they're not really positive, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so respect is really is a thing that, is, that needs to be deserved. But when it comes to the energy of the star sign, um, people shouldn't treat you as less than you are. Which is another thing that Scorpio, or Scorpions rather, uh, encounter a lot because they're just not the cute and cuddly type that people like. And the reality is, when you look at the scorpions, <clears throat> the smaller the scorpion is, the more venom is in the pincers or in the tail. Does that make sense? In the tail. And the larger the scorpion, the less venom it needs. So if you stand tall, um, you don't need um, to resort to. Uh, if that makes sense, if something comes your way. So that's the energy of the star sign Scorpio that is with all of us um, for the duration of Scorpio. But now let's go into the star sign of Scorpio for the week ahead. Let's see what the guides have to say to you, you individually or specifically your group of Scorpios um, for the week ahead. Again, we're looking at the week of October the 25th to the 31st, 2021. This is the message, or these are the messages for Scorpios. You have the red-tailed hawk and the caribou. Ultimately, what they're saying to you, and that makes sense because the overall energy was to look into family and then look into your home. And all the guides are saying what Scorpios needs to do, which also makes sense because as I just said, the taller Scorpio stands, the less likely it is for you to spew venom. And because here are the animal guides that you have for this week, you have the red-tailed hawk and the caribou. And the hawk tells you to go with the flow. So whatever it is you're finding this week, assess it, say your piece, really important, stand tall, say your piece, but go with the flow, right? Don't chase people. Don't think this has to be sorted now and go for them, if that makes sense, or go for this has to be sorted now. <clears throat> go with the flow. And then you have the caribou as the outgoing energy, which means um, no matter what happens when you go with the flow, no matter what can be solved, no matter what can be looked at and what can't be, remember if you can't make changes, then, then you have to come to an acceptance or maybe letting it go, if that makes sense. Really, really important because the caribou tells you that you have a split hoof and when the life gets when life gets difficult, you're not sinking in. So it is you that has a great what's the word? It has a great um well you are responsible, can't find the word. You are responsible for your <clears throat> for your energy largely, right? You decide how you feel if that makes sense, and you decide what you carry with you. Because your outgoing energy is the caribou, and it is an animal, animal with antlers, you're fully protected. So that's, that's all positive, right? If that makes sense. That was the overall energy for the Scorpio. And now we're going to the next star sign, which is Sagittarius, but <clears throat> I have a bit of a sore throat, so let me just get some water and I will be right back. So, now we're in the star sign of Sagittarius. Let's have a look what we got for the last week of October 2021. For Sagittarians, you have the Bobcat and the Timberwolf. Your job this week, Sagittarians, is to step back from things a little bit. Again, assessment is important. 
because the bobcat is looking for a vantage point. And so the message here is they're showing me actually, my guys, showing me actually a bobcat climbing a tree to get a better view of what's what. Ultimately, they're not asking you to climb trees, but if you feel like it, why not? The point is, they're asking you to remove yourself so that you can actually assess situations a little bit detached. Really, really important. And then your outgoing energy is the timber wolf, which means you don't always have to be in charge fully, but you shouldn't relinquish leading the pack, right? Be the natural leader that you are. Don't be challenged by some dimwit, if that makes sense, right? Don't, don't be challenged, right? But you don't have to know everything. You are human, you're evolving, you're going through changes like any other person on the planet, and people have to understand that, that you may be not at your best on any given day where they meet you, right? So also, therefore, don't listen to their opinion because that's just their opinion, right? So <clears throat> that was all there is for Sagittarians going to the next star sign <coughs> for the week ahead, which is Capricorn. Here we go. Let's have a look what we got for Capricorns. Capricorns, you have the bear and the seahorse. What you are asked to realize this week is that you're already vulnerable. And therefore, in order to stay away from negative energy and to be less hit by, by negative energy, you should nurture yourself this week. Right? So, while the overall energy still stands, you know, looking at your, 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 the family you were born into and looking at the home you live in, right? So that still stands, if that makes sense. But um, you can still decide to what extent you're actually going to do what the overall energy is suggesting, right? Because you have the bear and the seahorse, and the bear is all about healing, all about deep healing. And that's what they're asking you to do, is to allow yourself to heal, which also makes sense because when you look at the overall energy, which means looking at, at the family you were born into and then looking at the life you live right now in your home and who you're, who you're sharing it with, if that makes sense, <clears throat> that's all about assessment where you are at in life, which makes a lot of sense because only when we, when we can, only, if, only once, once we can figure out um, what's going on emotionally, only then can we start letting it go, if that makes sense. And that's one of the jobs and one of the energies that is coming your way, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Capricorns, this very week. So this is all about healing and therefore nurturing yourself. The outgoing energy that you have is the seahorse. And the important thing about the seahorse is to know that and this is just a statistic that, I, that I've been told years ago when I had my animal rights world, uh, world, con uh, world conservation radio show, um, which ran for eight years. Anyway, you have the seahorse. And the, the statement was and is that about 90% of them don't make it in captivity. Now, that sounds shocking. What that means to you, because that's also the energy that I've been given by the seahorse every time it comes for reading, is to say like, yeah, there's a truth to that. And what that means when you translate it into the here and now is that you are already vulnerable. So that doesn't mean you're, you're, you're not going to make it. It just means when you are feeling trapped, you suffer quite a bit and you also lose a lot of faith and strength when you are feeling overly burdened. And that's what the guides are saying to you is this week, as your energy for the last week of October, Capricorns, is to allow yourself to just look after yourself and nurture yourself. Okie dokie. Okay, here we go. That was Capricorn going to the next star sign, which is Aquarius. We are looking at the week of October the 25th to the 31st, 2021. Remember to like and subscribe and please share the video widely. 
aquariums. You have the dolphin and the parrot. So what that means, uh, energetically speaking, is remember the oval energy. I don't know why I have to come back to the oval energy so many times, but here it is. Oval energy clearly stated that this is a week for us to reflect and assess what the family we were born into, or you were born into in that case, um, what, what that did to you, if that makes sense, and what it does to you. So where are you in there? Is it time to let stuff go? Is it time to, to clear things up? That's what you have to look into. And then, once this is out of the way, you look at where you're at right now with regards to where you're living, whom you're living, or you're, whom you're spending your time with, and if you're actually happy where you are, if that makes sense, right? And that's why you have the dolphin and the parrot, because the dolphin is basically saying to you, if you... Do not let people know how you feel exactly. They might not be able to read you. And if you just go along with stuff and go like, mm -hmm, okay, right? And are overly friendly or overly polite, that does not suit you. You have heard the saying, no good deed goes unpunished, <laughs> right? So energetically speaking, for Aquarians, and this is not something that comes easily to many Aquarians, the speaking up part. Um, <clears throat> This is the week for you to tell people the truth about how you truly feel. Okay? And I'm getting this take it or leave it thing, right? You, you don't ask them whether or not they understand it. You just tell them, this is where I'm at. Right? And you either understand it or you don't. But this is where I'm at. So that's something that is basically... That you basically ask to, um, to look at this week and hopefully state, if that makes sense. Because your outgoing energy is the parent. Now, the parrot is about being judged, because the parrot was once a much larger bird, if that makes sense. And then when habitat loss began millions of years ago, um, they went from ground-dwelling animals to animals that had to become smaller. So there is the um, idea in uh, ornithology um, which I studied a couple of years ago, that doesn't make me an ornithologist, but I do have a diploma in ornithology, and I looked into parrots and, and evolution of, of avians, or whatever they call it, quite a bit. So the, the bones became hollow, so they would support flight, and everything shrunk, so they had to get lighter to get higher, if that makes sense. So therefore, the brain also shrunk, and yet the parrot has not become stupid. So there is judgment in, um, in how you are being viewed by people. And if you sell yourself short, they probably think they can walk all over you. And you're not stupid. You know an awful lot about things. And since the parrot comes in here, and then I've been reminded <clears throat> to look into the studies that I did on them years ago, <coughs> which is literally years ago. The idea is for you to realize, as long as you know who you truly are, it is much harder for other people to tell you who you are when you're not who you who they think you are. If that makes sense, right? So yeah, sounds a bit weird, but your job this week is to let people know how you truly feel. Okie dokie. That was Aquarius going to the next star sign, Pisces, which happens to be my own star sign. <laughs> so, Pisceans, let's have a look what the last week of October 2021 has got for us. We have the snake and the crow. The snake is the animal of transformation. When you go to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. So the snake is also an animal of health. And since the snake sheds its skin, it is again about letting things go after you reflect it um, on the family, the, the flesh and blood family, how you grew up in, and, and assessed if where you are at this point in time, if this is really the, the end all and be all, right? So they're not asking us Pisceans to go into frustration, but if you felt, should you feel, mm, you know, I'm not super happy here, then that's something to manifest, if that makes sense, right? Okay, so we have the snake and the crow. 
So the snake is the animal that tells you that. Interestingly enough, the, the imagery that I'm getting from the snakes, <coughs> or from the energy of, of the, the animal guide, <coughs> is that snakes, most of them need stones or something to propel themselves. And all that means here is, this is a good week to look for elements that can propel you, reach out to people, um, communicate with your guides, say like, okay, what's going on here, right? <clears throat> really, really important. Don't just sit there and go like, oh, life, life is shit, right? I'm not saying you will, because, you know, while we Pisceans are quite deep, um, and we have times where we go like, it's all shit. Most of the time, we're quite uplifting folk. And so this is nothing that we need to remember. Remember our, our, our own core. Be as uplifting as we can because energy travels, right? <clears throat> and then we have the crow, which is the animal of transformation. So we still, and because we had that in a couple of weeks here, um, and I'm a Pisces and I have no idea, I haven't got a bloody notion, why the guys are bringing this up that we're going through changes because in my life it doesn't feel like I'm going through so many changes if at all I personally sort of feel like I'm a bit stuck so what changes am I going through <laughs> right anyway not for me to argue with the guys I just tell you what what comes here and the energy that we have is the crow and the crow is not only the animal of transformation but also because you're going through transformation so you're changing it is the energy of renewal so yes we're going through changes yes things are a bit stale for us Pisceans but we're going towards literally something more uplifting something better really really important to um, to notice this for us Pisceans this very last week of um, October I also get something really weird because like I said I love my guys but they are weird um, because obviously it's, 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 it's Halloween, which is obviously um, a proper pagan system to look at the whale between us and the other side. They're not giving me that at all. They're showing me people knocking on your bloody door, you know, trick or treat kind of thing. So what I'm getting from this is, um, you know, because this is the last week of October, this is Halloween time in many countries. Um, why don't you, Piscean, you there, um, why don't you just, you know, watch some Halloween flicks on that day? Maybe dress up yourself, be a bit lighthearted, buy chocolate for someone who wants to trick or treat you. Why not? Get into the spirit of fun, because like I said earlier, energy travels, right? So, that was um, Pisceans going to the next star sign which is Aries. <clears throat> and the, the energy of healing still stays with us. We have the screech owl and the grizzly bear. Bear. <laughs> the screech owl and the grizzly bear for Aries. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, the outgoing energy is the bear. The bear is all about healing, right? So they're asking you to, no matter what you do, is to allow yourself to go into letting go of things that aren't working for you or that aren't for you full stop. That's your outgoing energy. The incoming energy or the ingoing energy to this week is the screech owl. And owls, and you have heard this before, are very perceptive and very wise. And the owl draws an auditory map so she can hear the mouse in the undergrowth, so she can get the mouse without being caught in the bush or in the undergrowth. So therefore, just assess what's going on right in front of your eyes. Pay attention and listen as well to what people say around you, right? So assessment, really, really important, especially when it comes to the overall energy, assessing your home life, where you live, with whom do you spend, your, your life, what can be tweaked there, and what have I grown up with, what was I born into, all this kind of stuff. So there's a bit of a, it's not a heaviness that we all um, are being confronted by necessarily with the overall energy, but 
the guides are saying to us, this is time to let stuff go. And therefore, it is about getting rid of things that are stale. So that goes, uh, hawks back to the um, overall energy. <coughs> and that's really all I got for Aries. Now we go into the next star sign, which is Taurus. I just need another sip of water. Some water. So, Taurians. Let's have a look at Taurians for the last week of October 2021. You have the Shaman of Birth and the Shaman of Foresight. Now, quite powerful energies because when you have the Shaman of Birth, what they're saying to you, look at the overall energy, we're bringing this to you so you can look at it without judging it, right? Because the shaman of birth means when you pay attention to what you are supposed to look at, when you pay attention and you have the shaman of birth as your ingoing energy, you have the strength and the stamina to bring about real change this week, which is bloody awesome, right? So that's really, really um, a very positive thing, if that makes sense, um, to just realize that when you actually don't hide or don't shy away from looking at things for what they truly are, you will still be fine, right? <clears throat> and then you have the shaman of foresight, which means most of the stuff, and maybe all of it, or maybe all of the things that you actually look at, you knew about, right? So maybe you just have allowed people and situations, um, and this is, sorry, this is the term that the guides give me, <clears throat> to manipulate you in acting a certain way, if that makes sense. Remember when you were giver, people become takers, right? That doesn't make them bad people, they're just opportunists. So who is asking you constantly for help? Who is expecting you to do all the stuff that they actually could do themselves? And you going like, oh, and I'm doing it, right? So there's no, hmm, it feels like blame because I'm getting this word. So there is no blame here, but reflect. If you are the person that goes like, yeah, I know you shouldn't ask me this 25 times a week, but here it is, that's on you, right? So assess, pay attention and make changes because you have the shaman of birth, which means once you know what's what, you will bring about changes because you are the bull. Okie dokie. That was Torians going to the next star sign, which is Gemini. Let's have a look what we got for Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini, you have the Canada goose and the peregrine falcon. You are being asked this week to go things slowly. You are also being asked to realize that any changes you might try to bring about this week may not come about as quickly as you feel it probably should, right? So what the guides are saying is, as long as you speak your truth, as long as you assess, even if you don't find it in you to speak up or to speak out, it is all about assessing life for what it is. And that's all you need to do. But you also need to allow yourself to be patient with situations and with people, and with yourself. Because that's what the Canada goose is for you. And then you have the Peregrine Falcon, which means while you pace yourself, if that makes sense, <clears throat> you still see exactly what's going on. So trust your intuition. No matter where you are at in life or in your life, trust your intuition Feel what is truth and what isn't, and only act according to your true self. Okay? That was Gemini going into the next star sign, which is Cancer. Sorry, need to cough. Hmm. Hi, guys. Just some heads up, um, I will do a different format only in November. <clears throat> so I will do readings 
for each individual star sign for the full months of November. So there will be 12 little videos or maybe long videos. I have no idea what the guys are going to say um, <clears throat> for each individual star sign in November. And then in December, we will return to our regular um, weekly videos for all the star signs. I just feel like, you know, shifting things around a little bit and then, um, you know, um, I'll, I'll wait for your comments, you know, whether or not you like the new format or dislike it and whatever comes to mind. Remember, um, if you comment, um, I can look at it and maybe make changes, right? Um, I already did a poll, I already asked people and most people actually were much more comfortable with me doing um, <clears throat> the star sign readings the way I do them, which means weekly for all star signs in one video. <clears throat> but I was just watching um, Pisceans um, for the month of October, actually, on, on YouTube. And so when I type in Pisces, um, you only get stuff about Pisceans. And I kind of thought, like, actually, I quite like that because some of the, the, um, the segments are just as long or as short as the ones I'm doing. Um, but somehow I felt like, you know, maybe it's a good idea to do just that. So in November, November only, there will be um, 12 videos for the 12 star signs, a monthly look at the energy for your individual star sign in November. Come December, I will um, return to this layout, which is obviously um, weekly readings for all star signs. Okay, Doki, just thought I'd let you know. Cancer. You have the rabbit and the opossum. That actually is quite positive. Remember the overall energy was to, sounds wrong, but this is just the way I get it for cancer, cancer, for cancerians, is confront family if they're no nasty, if they're condescending, if that makes sense, right? Confront them. Really, really important. Don't just hold back for whatever reason. I also get this just because they were nice to you when you needed them to, whatever that means, you don't owe them anything. And it doesn't mean that just because someone helped you that they can clearly just state whatever the heck they want disregarding how you feel about it. So, Again, remember the overall energy was already about family, looking into family members <clears throat> or the way we grew up. That's your first uh, energy that comes up here. But the rabbit is saying to you, you are going towards a new beginning of sorts anyway. And there's tons of different ways you can go. So you're not as limited as you feel you are. And your possum is basically telling you, that when you really step back a little and just look at things, you will easily, very easily, see what is exactly happening here and you will assess the situation for what it truly is. Okay, that was Cancerians. Now we go into the next star sign, which is Leo. Let's have a look at Leo. We're looking at the last week of October 2021, which is the 25th of October to the 31st of October 2021. So, you have the dolf and the rabbit. We already spoke about the rabbit when we looked at cancer. The rabbit is telling you, look at my domain. There's tons of rabbit holes. They're going any which way. They're going into all sorts of directions. Take your pick. Right? So the outgoing energy that you have, because the, the rabbit is your outgoing energy, is to realize that there is a future. Right? There are possibilities, there are opportunities. What is important here is that your energy needs to be high enough <clears throat> to manifest these doors opening for you. And your incoming energy is the, the dove, which obviously, you know, it's all about peace. But the idea here is that the dolf is still a pigeon. The cat among the pigeon. So what that really means is that the, 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 the pigeon or the dolf is an animal that literally has almost, a, actually it's a 358 degree um, vision. 
right? So you really can see everything that is going on around you. You just have to start being more open to seeing what's out there and assess it the way it really feels and is. While the dove itself is the animal of peace, so they're asking you to not overreact depending on what you find, right? Be in your spiritual core, be your spiritual self, don't lose your cool. That makes sense, right? But at the same time, assessment has to be done because that's what the dove is telling you. There's so many things happening around you. Are you missing some of that? Okay, that was the energy for Leos going to the last star sign for the week ahead, which is Virgo and Libra. We're looking at the energy of the week for um, last week of October, 25th to the 31st of October, 2021. So, Virgos, second last star sign for the week. You have the chipmunk and the great horned owl. And the chipmunk is another animal, just like the opossum, that tells you, look at things for, for, for what they are, not for what you want them to be. And I do feel this is really about the first part of the overall energy, which was family, flesh and blood family. The first part was about looking at who we grew up with and what it does or did to you. And then the second part was about reflecting on where you live and you know your home and what all this does. But the energy that I'm getting here for the chipmunk, or with the chipmunk, for um, Virgos, <coughs> excuse me, is really to, um, to assess it honestly. And once you really say like, oh, this is what's going on here, right? you will very likely notice that you are actually aware and you were already aware of all of this, right? Okay? It's also weird because I'm getting this, um, that I always found is a, is a posh word, um, which is convivial. Convivial is basically um, being, being very positive. You're, you're a very convivial person, which means you're, you're, you're a person that is um, skilled, person that is well equipped when it comes to expressing yourself, convivial. So anyway, they give me this word. <coughs> and I remember when I learned English um, and, and, I, and I studied business English, they teach you weird words that nobody ever uses. I don't know. I've been living abroad for 21 years. I can hardly, well, probably I can never remember anyone saying convivial. Oh, such a convivial situation. <laughs> never heard it. Anyway, that's the word they give me and I remember it, convivial. So that's what they're saying to you, you are, right? You're a convivial person. You are a good, skilled, well-equipped person to assess situations and come to conclusions that make sense, right? I have to say this, you know, I find it a bit weird because I'm the foreigner here, right? And after 21 years, there's still so many things I, I don't quite get, if that makes sense, right? And now they give me the word convivial and I have to explain it to you. <laughs> anyway, I think they're just messing with my head. But apparently it makes sense. So I hope it makes sense to Virgos because the outgoing energy is the great, the great horned owl. And we had the owl earlier in one of the star signs. And all they're saying to you is look around you. Look around you. Listen to what's been said around you because that will help in your assessment of situations as they appear and as they um, as they make sense or as they apply to you. Okay, that was that. Going to the very, very, very last star sign of the week, which is Libra. We're looking at the week of October the twenty fifth to the thirty first, twenty twenty one. The last week of October of this very year. Um, please like, share, and, you know, um, subscribe if possible. Now, you've seen it here numerous times. There will be changes in November, but they will only be for November. So don't desert me now just because I want to change things around and do 12 individual videos for a whole month. It's just so 
it's just an idea. I just want to see how it feels to do these videos in a different fashion. That's all it is, right? <clears throat> and it's only for November. Anyway, here's the last star sign for the week, which is Libra. Librans. You got the insect and the seagull. It's quite straightforward and it's actually not that much in words because what the guides are saying to Librans is reflect while you are assessing your, your, the family life, the, 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 the family you were brought up with and assess the energies in your home, if that makes sense, which is the overall energy for the week. <clears throat> you have the insect and that means when you uh, reflect or when you assess situations don't leave out yourself the insect basically tells you that you are important because without insects nothing really grows nothing lasts right um, and that's what they're saying to you is you are important and therefore if you can value yourself that energy travels, okay? And then you have the seagull, which basically tells you while you're doing the assessment, don't do anything super fast, um, because when you go things extra speedy, you miss out things. And it's also quite dangerous to run through things because you don't know what hits you when you're running so fast. It doesn't mean you will be hit. What it means is for you to have some sort of a, a calmer energy to assess situations, right? Pay attention to everything and that only works best or that clearly works best when you are in charge of your overall energy. Okay, guys, that was all we have time for. Thank you so much, right? Please keep watching the, the different format just for November. It's just 12 videos for each star sign and it will be one video for each star sign for the whole month. And then come December, I have already decided this because that's also what people want, but also how I feel more comfortable. From December onward, we will go back to this weekly format, right? So, you know, but changes are sometimes really good, okay? also makes sense because November is the 11th month and 11 is a is a master number so doing a new format when the energy is really high will probably help me um, when I make these videos right okie dokie see you soon bye bye